and certainly the first among our NHL fans to start tailgating before games going back to 2002 in the playoffs. The opening faceoff won by the Islanders and chipped in by Adam Pellick and underway game two from Raleigh. Of course, an Eastern Conference final appearance last year where they were swept as Burns off the draw and a kick save by Varlamov. Still, the Islanders are without a shot. Backhanded in from center by Matt Martin. Orlov steers it along. We got a tilt. And behind the play, here we go. Kyle McLean for the Islanders. And Stefan Nason. Nason trying to exchange some rights. McLean comes with it right over the top. Nason gets a left. McLean still standing. Nason down to one knee. for the fight game. Raleigh, North Carolina is just fine. What a tilt by these two. So Nason, who had the game-winning goal in game one, and Kyle McClain, the rookie, yep. who scored in his playoff debut, the son of Islanders' assistant, great scorer in his own right, and cup winner, John McClain. I respect both these guys for this tilt. And although McClain lost his balance early, did a 23. good job. New York Islander penalty number 32. Five minutes each for fighting. So finishing the threat on that, both these guys getting involved early for their respective clubs. And, and a race for the puck down at the other end, and one by Romanov, and then he takes a hit. Stahl trying to center, bounces through the blue paint, over to the corner. Pivots toward the middle, shot blocked in front. And here come the Islanders, a chance for an odd man rush. Nelson moving up, Nelson pivots and a save by Anderson with a glove, and he hangs on. Brock Nelson for the Islanders. We're still 20 seconds away from being five on five. Across the line. Defenseman, veteran Riley. Pass in front, down low, point blank chance. Score! Kyle Palmieri and the Islanders break through. Riley slaloming down the middle, takes it wide, draws double coverage. Now he'll stop up on the breaks here. Does Palmieri net front? Second, third effort by Palmieri. He harpoons this one through Freddie Anderson. But this entire play was really engineered. Burns, cross ice, Ajo. Jarvis plays it off to the left side, but nobody there. It tipped out of the zone. Uh -oh. Here comes Horvath, breaking in shorthanded. And a save by Anderson. Voice of the San Jose Sharks. And here's another look at that play. And Horvath gets clearance. He's can go to his move that he wants, and he opts to shoot, and Freddie Anderson very patient on this save. Look at the positioning by Freddie Anderson. Didn't retreat too quickly. Final 30 seconds of period one of game two. Kyle Palmieri goal. And the Islanders working with a 1-0 lead. Sezikis on the four check. One-timer, score! Bo Horvath, 2-0 Islanders. get the goal but they compound that with a great penalty kill and here they come by way of the forecheck very effective forecheck and in large part that's why Casey Sezikas was put on this line putting him on this line he gets in as the forechecker F1 as coaches like to say in coach speak and he's able to get that turnover force to turnover pull. broken stick coming off the face off but a 2-0 lead for the Islanders with a second ticking down and Period one, slap shot from the point, kicked out, and another save by Varlamov at the horn. Passes it out to him, second, third effort, he ends up poking it home. Period two, underway. As we change ends of the ice, and Palmieri drops it off for Gensel in the corner, takes the body from Adam Pellick, and a shot that just skips wide of Varlamov. Held into the point, Ajo. Driving the slot on a backhand, one-timer! And a great chance down low from Ajo. Generates some really good chances, and there's the first initial opportunity for the Canes, and you see them just cut back toward the middle of the ice. And they killed off both Islanders' power plays in game one. Down in front by himself, backhand, score! Power play goal! Anders Lee, three-nothing Islanders! Off a broken play, the Islanders capitalize. You have to play to your strengths. 
And the Islanders, I mentioned the fact that they've got to be quick in their plays. Well, this is a broken play, but it's J.G. Pajo who draws back in the lineup and gets the Andrews lead. Watch 27. He's all home alone. He's home alone. There's nobody around him. Wheeled around. Here's Pellick sealing off the wall. Martinook trying to bank it ahead. Jarvis with some speed, driving the net. Jarvis in front, and it's turned aside. Barlamov to save. Aho fakes. Jarvis on the puck. And fans on the pass, but kept alive by the Canes. Jarvis moving in. Shot saved. Barlamov. Let's go! You can only tempt fate so many times, and that's exactly what happened to the Islanders. And for the Canes, the initial shot, and then the alert bump pass by Jake Gensel. He's been here before in the Stanley Cup playoff stage. Point of game player coming into this game, and a very unselfish play. Other players might have tried to force everything. Fourth round pick back yep. in 2009. Odell. Now in his 13th season in the NHL. On the entry. Martinuk fans had lost his stick trying to backhand a loose puck. Hit the puck. Ready for the puck drop of period three, a two goal lead for the Islanders. So without Pesci, how do they manage the five defensemen? Intercepted, Dobson trying to poke it free, but Ajo takes it back. Moves away from Dobson, pass, Gensel hit the bar. Here Scotty is Jarvis. Scheffler would appreciate that. <laughs> Riley scampers after the puck. Held in by the Canes. Cross ice to Jarvis, moving in. Jarvis! Score! And Seth Jarvis is a fan favorite. He's a coach's favorite. He's a teammate's favorite. And boy, oh boy, do the young legs come to the fore here. Seth Jarvis fades away, kind of gets lost and unchecked. The Islanders are... And a face-off win for the Islanders. Six on five with the empty net at the other end. Svechnikov, another block shot. Burns in the corner to Jarvis. One timer score! One more tip in, we're tied! Two fifteen to go. And when you don't get the clear, you have the defensive zone draw. And the Canes recognize that. And this is quick, quick touches. Svechnikov, half slapper a la Nikita Kucherov. And it's Sebastian Ajo, fishy. Drury enters the zone. Plays it in deep for Carolina. Loose. Score! later here come the canes on the four check and it's martinuk with the hit on dobson quick pickpocket and he slams this one short side yeoman's work by martinuk a big part of the canes is their four check jordan martinuk bringing these fans to their highest life the islanders control the extra attacker horvat in the corner plays it behind steered along by paul mary at the point, Ajo leads it up the wall. Gensel in the zone. Gensel drives the net. Score! Empty netter. 5-3, Canes. Frustration after the goal from the Islanders, but the empty net goal and a 5-3 lead. Here's another look at that entire sequence, and this is a miscue. And a great recovery, though, by Riley. Sebastian Ajo barking out orders. Watch the Canes in the neutral zone. They did a really good job. And then they get the recovery in their defensive zone Do the Canes. Get the clear. And this is why you've got to go out and make deals at the trade deadline. And I've got to give Tom Den Dundon and the Canes a lot of credit. The biggest fish on the board at the trade deadline was Jake Hockey Ops. And department don't, up in Toronto. And don't let the gong show happen here at the end of the game. No. We'll leave that for the WWE. <laughs>
Final seconds ticking down. And a